21 years, brother. You ready to get this done? Let's do it. All right. Welcome to this episode of Addicta Fishing, y'all. We are fishing my back home waters right here in Brevard County, Mosquito Lagoon, the Space Coast. Just had a couple rocket launches here the past couple days. Beautiful launches. Y'all ever come to the Space Coast? Make sure you tune in for one of those because it is awesome. But today, you can see these things flying around. We got love bugs everywhere, and that means one thing. It's late spring, the fishing is on, and we are gonna go see if we can get some trout, redfish, whatever comes to the boat. We got Captain John Lule with us today, and uh, it has been a while. We basically have known each other for about 21 years now. Yeah, or more. And uh, he was our <laughs> camera boat, I think our second show we ever shot. And uh, we're finally getting together to do a show after 21 years. So y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addict to Fishing. We're gonna show you some fish today, I hope. These love bugs off the boat. What's that coming out of the big redfish coming out of the bushes at like two o'clock going down the sticks way up tight, Got him. Seam. Nice shot. Come on. That's such a good one. What's that going away from me? One o'clock, about 30 feet out, going away. Got him? You're pointing right at him. He's just going a little to the left. Now he's going back to the right towards that dark spot. Little right. The close one? Yes. See him right there laying in front of it oh, going yeah, out yeah, to the him. left? Oh, we've charged it. He's charging it. Come on. He's got it. There he is. Huh. Never in my life have I fished mosquito Whoa, again so much you want to catch a 16 inch redfish. <laughs> well, guys, it has been <laughs> a bit slow for us today. As you see, it's about the middle of the day right now. Bad situation, we got a, the worst wind in Mosquito Lagoon right now you could possibly think of because there's no grass hardly anywhere as you can see. It's like the surface of the moon from what John says. It looks a lot like it, but uh, we'll keep plugging along, see if we can show you a big one, but we will show you what we catch here. It's always good to see the little ones. About a two-year-old redfish right there, year and a half. Means they're doing their thing when they're spawning. Hey, maybe they're turning on. So John, you think we can get it done here? Absolutely, keep on plugging along. We have been working our tails off today to even try to show you a tail out here. <laughs> it's been tough. It's really rough these days. We had a real hard west wind this morning. What happens, it, it muddies everything up because there's not much grass left anymore to hold off that, all the stuff that gets churned up off the bottom. So we have been hitting every spot we can think of down south. Now we're all the way up north in the Mosquito Lagoon. So some old stomping ground, see if it pays off. You come up this way and fish much? I mean, not as much uh, as I fished the south end. You know, the fishing used to be so good down there, I didn't really have to come up here very much, but, you know, just since everything's been slowing down everywhere, it's nice to come up and see some new water. A lot of the water down south is muddy today because of the west wind. So we're just up here trying to get out of it. 
I remember one of the last times we fished here in Mesquite Lagoon, it was, it was so, and we talked about this earlier, it was so dirty and the brown tide was in here so bad. Literally, if you stuck your fingernails in the water, you'd disappear, you wouldn't be able to see your fingernails. Yep. Head of the trolling motor. We did a show with Travis back then, you can check it out. It, it was dirty. This water's nice and clear though, we should see something. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Got it. Got it. Nice trout, buddy. Nice. Yeah, that's a trout. That's a one. <laughs> that is a beauty. That's the one we've been wanting to show you right there. The size. He is taking some drag, dude. Nice one. That is a grown one. That's a growing boy. That's my biggest one in years right there. No, 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 no. Don't. Oh, he's hooked perfect too. There is no way we could have come up on that fish unless we were in this beaver tail right here because it is the quietest boat I think I've ever been in. It is a monster, dude. <laughs> You ready to come grab this big old fish? Yes, sir. That is a true gator trout, brother. Be real gentle with her. You got her? Oh, that's a good one. Look at this. Holy Look at holy this guy here. That fish. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna grab right here. Awesome. Go ahead and pop that DOA out. Sure will. Okay, maybe not 11 pounds, but. It's solid. That is a solid fish right there, y'all. Absolutely. That is a moose. That's a nice one, man. Yes, it is, brother. There you go. That's my biggest one in a long, long time. This water's a little hot. I just want to make sure she okay. gets off. Oh, there she's good. back to you. I want you to go out, not out deep for the porpoise to get you. To sit right there and get bigger. <laughs> that was awesome. Get bigger. That was awesome. Great that, job. That, that was worth Great the job. whole day right there. Here it is two o'clock in the afternoon. We haven't done hardly squat. A little bit here and there we're seeing, but man, that, that, makes, that makes a whole day right there. That was awesome. That is, that is what you call a fish of a lifetime. There's oh. people that have fished there their whole lives and never, never, oh, for sure. never caught and one. Sight fishing it too. Oh yeah, that's probably the, I'd say that's the biggest one I've ever sight fished. Yeah. You know, saw him, cast him, him hooked him, watched him eat it. <laughs> that was awesome. Think we can do it again? Let's try it. <laughs> Great job, brother. Thank you. On it. Oh. Appreciate that. Sweet. All on the little DOA cow. Dude right there. One more spot that has no grass, John. Kind of like everywhere in the lagoon right now. Yep, that is a fact. I think we've about covered this whole lagoon. We're trying to find clean water or trying to find a little bit of grass. That's why we keep bumping. Everything looks a little different every time we're catching a fish or, you know, in a new spot. We're, we are jumping and jumping and jumping, just looking for places to go. Spot and, hopping. Yeah, because the wind changes directions. One side will get dirty. You can't see, so you go to the other side. So we're just jumping back and forth because there's no grass out here anymore in the lagoon for them to hold uh, fish and the things everything likes to feed on. So we're just hanging up near the shorelines and fishing little patchy areas of grass. What else is in there? Moss, that red moss stuff. Yeah, some of that, it's almost like tumbleweed. Yeah, anything they can hide in, they're hiding in. So when you're out here and you got clean water, look for any checkerboard bottom, any type of grass at all. And if it does start getting dingy like this, you can always just start blind casting, especially if you know you've seen a couple blow out from the boat. 
Now, don't try to make a super far cast away from the boat, because if you see one real close, got to get it back in real quick. There we go. There we go. That's a good fish. Right? Nice trout. Is it? I think it's a trout. If it's a trout, it's a monster. Looks like a redfish. Yeah, it's red. Nice redfish. A black drum. Is it really? A <laughs> little blaggy. Might have to bring him home for dinner. Tie him down. A black drum, baby! <laughs> I thought I snagged it first. <laughs> Hey, he's waking up. You want the TV drag on? <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. Hey, he's fighting just like the big ones, 10 feet away from the boat. You're right though, John, he's got stripes on. He's big for having that many stripes predominantly. I know, they're like really that. pronounced. I always tell people, they say, do you eat black drum? I say, yeah, uh, only when they look like sheep's head. <laughs> right. And that's when they have the stripes. Yeah, he's got them good. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. Come here, Blackie. Yeah, he's big, he's real big to still nice. have stripes. A black drum from Mosquito Lagoon. One of the most dominant fish in Mosquito Lagoon now. They are pretty, pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Got him on a cow. So it catches trout and black drum. When it's looking right, he loses stripes. Yeah. What a pretty fish. Shit, somebody else comes catch you. <laughs> I think I need a new bait. Been using that one long enough, but that is the color right now. And the reason I chose that color right there is because when you're looking all around, there's a, a little mullet run going on right now, and they're matching the color of the sand. They're real light in color, so that's why I went with that one. And all the uh, chartreuse tail, tail does is just give it a little. Uh, Little action to get it noticed. 16th ounce jig head, got a 25 pound test cigar fluorocarbon leader using the 7 2 inshore from Luz. And uh, this speed stick, I tell you what, is a great rod for Mosquito Lagoon. Cast a mile, nice sensitivity. I'm gonna go catch another fish. What's up guys, Captain Blair Wiggins here for the Indian River Clam Restoration Project Update. Back behind me where you see these stakes, we got over 275,000 clams that we've planted in the Indian River Lagoon system. We're at River Rocks down here in Rockledge and we're doing another transplant from St. Augustine right now and putting them in right here where the stakes are. 50,000 more clams and these are real good sized clams. Let's go check it out. This is a really cool event, given that all the people that have been helping put this project together are gonna to be here today to get a chance to put hands on clams and put them back in the water. Now we're expecting a truck to come in here. He's bringing all the clams from St. Augustine, not all the ones that we have, but one load for today. With this number of people here, 56,000 clams of the size that we're bringing will be a little bit of work. There's plenty of food, you know, in the water here. We've got plenty of things to eat. They're gonna grow fine. As you see all those pipes out there, we're gonna lay clams out in, in big rows. These rows are about 14 feet wide by 50 feet long. We're gonna set out about 11,000 of these one inch clams by hand, and then we're gonna tack a monofilament net over them to protect them for the next year from predation. There's lots of things like to eat them, and we didn't grow them for food, we grow them to do water quality improvement. 
If you want to learn more about the Indian River Lagoon Clam Project, make sure you go to IndianRiverLagoonClamProject.com or check us out on Facebook. Everybody that can get involved, you can still go to CCA's website through our website and donate $25. That buys us a lot of clams. Heck, $1 is going to buy us a lot of clams. So anything you can do, it's going to put clams back in the water. Appreciate everybody for watching. And that's the update. We'll have another one soon. When's the last time you've been on the, the big schools, Indian River? You know? uh, we had a really good spawn this past uh, it was September, October. You know, it hadn't happened for like four or five years for us because the water was so dirty, the bait wouldn't come up into the north end of the river, but this past year was really good. Yeah, I, I heard about it, but I was neck deep in that clam restoration uh, banquet we were putting on last year. Right. Can you believe how fast that wind changed? It's just like somebody turned a fan on. We got done finishing over there and the wind switched like that and I was calm on this side, so we had to make a change. And it's a little dirty over here still. Seen a lot of little ratties, but none of the big monsters like over there. There's a little rat right here. There he is. <laughs> what is that little, little rat? Little dude. Yeah, nice. And he's going away from us. He spooked right here next to the boat. Come here, little ratty. I'll take you. I will take you. Even though you're not legal, you're still a redfish. So I give you the line. They're all good. Some are just better than the others. That's a nice pretty detail. one right there. Get right out of here. We've only seen about 100 of those today. Nice to see one eat. The way they should. John, you about ready, man? I cannot see my lure to save my life anymore, much less a fish. Yeah, it's getting pretty <laughs> dirty. But I tell you what, brother, that fish today, that was, was a, good a one. fish of a lifetime. If y'all ever get the chance, come to Mosquito Lagoon and you want to hunt one of these giant trophy trout that we have here, make sure you look up John Lule. How do they get in touch with you? Uh, TwoCastaway.com. It's the number two. Numeral letter two, castaway.com or John Lule on Facebook and your Instagram is? Is uh, Captain John Lule, C-A-P-T John Lule. Get in touch with him. He'll do what he can to put you on the fish. Trust me on that one. It is getting late and uh, we have fished every bit of clean water we could find today. Y'all don't forget about the website, addictafishing.com. You can go there and stay up with all of our social media sites and uh, stay in touch with what we're doing. We'll see y'all next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictedFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Oh, damn. Really? God, it feels weird being barefoot again. Funny looking fish, ain't they? Oh my God, they're like messing around. There really is one right here. <laughs>